Chapter 43, titled Factors Affecting Overcrowding of Preliminary Care Unit of District General Hospital, Gampa, Sri Lanka. The authors are Malavarachi SMNSM and Dharmaratna GSK. The presenting author is Malavarachi SMNSM. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairperson. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm here to present our findings regarding the research factors affecting overcrowding of preliminary care unit in uh, District General Hospital, Gampaha. District General Hospital, Gampaha is one of the busiest hospitals in the district of Gampaha, uh, which serves a uh, huge population, and the preliminary care unit of the hospital was established in 2001. A uh, preliminary care unit in a state hospital has the basic intention of reducing unnecessary admissions, providing quality and comprehensive care to the patients, and also reducing the overall cost to the health sector. Here it was uh, observed that uh, PCO in base, uh, general hospital, District General Hospital Gampaha was a 20 uh, bedded unit our objective was to assess the factors affecting overcrowding there. Overcrowding is generally defined as a situation where the demand for the service exceeds the capacity of a unit to serve. In this situation, we could observe at a given time number of patients waiting to be treated, managed and discharged at a given time. Here, uh, this research was a cross-sectional descriptive study. We used two techniques. One is uh, focus group discussions with the staff. We conducted two focus group discussions, one with the doctors, 10 doctors participated, and one with nursing officers, and eight of them participated. Their responses were coded and thematic analysis was conducted. Again, we conducted secondary data review uh, using bed head tickets, admission book, and the uh, monthly statistics of the preliminary care unit of the hospital. Uh, we observed that uh, within the year of 2018, 72,182 patients were seen, and 38.9% uh, of them were discharged, and 586 have been transferred to ward, and there have been patients leaving against medical advices around 8%. The main factors for overcrowding we came up was inadequate inpatient capacity, lack of priority channels for the laboratory test done by the preliminary care unit, delays in reference, referrals to the judicial medical officers, insufficient nursing staff, and repeated and deliberate self-admissions. So we concluded that overcrowding in the PCU was mainly due to less organized process flow and inadequate resources. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is now open for discussion. Uh, this what is the, the level of overcrowding? Have you sort of like, you know, you identified like through your focus group discussions about the, the reasons pursued by the staff, but did you quantify the, the, the overcrowding? How severe was it like? Uh, uh, yes, sir. At a given time, the capacity was 20 beds. At a given time, at least 30% of the bed capacity were waiting outside, the waiting area to be seen. And about about 15% of patients were waiting to be discharged. So they are always all together around 35, 45% uh, of overcrowding here we compared to the bed, bed capacity. So that was throughout the, throughout the year? Throughout. We had to average, sir. The right. Throughout the year, it was seen. Uh, exceptional area, uh, seasons were there, but average, it was like that. OK. That should have been presented on your slide. OK, right. Okay. 